flashback. We want 3A. We want 3A. We want 3A. Um, you know, if we get moved up to 3A, that's the way they feel, then we'll be ready for any challenge they give it us. End of flashback. 12 seconds later. Alright, so I just learned something new over here at Elmer's and Chandler. What you like? Chips? It's called strips. Very educational. So I'm going to take one of Ralph's strips. Dip it in these beans. Strip some beans. Now, after eating some Elmer's, we are headed back to watch the 3A state championship game. I am super excited for this game because I have been waiting all season long to check out the Shamrock Show starring Gage Reese, the record-setting quarterback, and Henderson, this wide receiver that has piled up a ton of yards, has almost 2,000 yards receiving. They're kind of countered by this Northwest Christian team. They beat up my Ben Franklin team pretty good this year, twice, not once, but twice. And they also beat Valley Christian twice this year not once but twice one of the hardest things to do in a season i always say this it's beat a good team twice they've done it to two teams and they are facing this yuma catholic team in a rematch of a game that they played earlier this season where yuma catholic got the victory does northwest christian have to shut gage reese and Henderson down. I don't think they have to shut them down. They just have to go blow for blow if they want to hang. If Gage Reese tonight throws for 490 yards or more, which he has done on a couple of occasions this year, he'll have 5,000 yards passing this season. And so I don't think you can count on shutting him down. But if you do it, I think you're in a really, really good position. You just got to make sure you're scoring on offense, though. I think in order for Northwest Christian to win this game, 200 yards is the key for Van Hoffwigan. I tell you what would be even better. 130 yards rushing, five at a time, right? So run the ball, hit the ground, let the clock roll, do it again, do it again, do it again. Keep the ball out of the hands of Yuma Catholic's offense and just do and dominate the run game. Northwest Christian just needs to play their ball game, and I think they get the win. Don't forget, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Let's talk about this. I want to know. Oh, yeah, I also want to know, do people really call chips strips? Shout out to my guy over here showing me that love with the golf cart so that way I can go get my hoodie so I don't freeze to death. Gotta make sure we get the kids as much exposure as possible.
half. Got to catch up with my favorite West Valley rider. You already know my boy here. We're going to put his pop tag right there. What are your thoughts on the game right now? The score is 14-7. Yuma Catholic kind of came out uh, fast. There's not much more the Crusaders defense can do. They've held Yuma to about 65 yards of offense. They've been put in horrible positions and they've somehow kept their team in the game. And I think you're gonna see Easton Meyer at quarterback in the second half because he's a lot more mobile. Honestly, they've outplayed Yuma for most of the game. Being that they've outplayed Yuma for most of the game and they're still down 14 to seven, do you think it's gonna be possible to continue to bottle up Gage Reese and John Henderson? Probably not. I think what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be putting the ball on the ground even more with Meyer coming in at quarterback, running Ben Hoffwagen and running Innes and Heidel off them. And I don't think you're gonna see many passes in the second half. I think they're just gonna try to grind them out. Stay tuned, because after the game, me and him, we talk about NDP Centennial. <laughs> Northwest Christian Crusaders have come back in the fourth quarter, tied it up. I said they were done, but uh, they they don't. They like are them. not. They are not. Talk to me about the life that has been given, the resuscitation process. Well, what's going on over here on the Northwest Christian sideline? There are a bunch of kids that have been together for about five or six years, and they don't want that. What are you expecting in this overtime? I think that both teams starting at the 10 definitely favors Northwest. They certainly have the momentum. <laughs>
too far to go. It's crazy. I mean, I just thank God and our teammates are, we didn't, we never gave up. We're going to Disneyland! How hard is it this day and age with social media and stuff to block it all out when all the media is saying that you guys are the underdog when you got the number one seed? Yeah, I mean, it fuels us, it makes us play harder, and we just like the doubters. Shout, shout out to Ralph. Ralph did improve. Thanks, Ralph. My man. All right, so all season long, you've been carrying the load for this team literally uh, almost like 1,200 yards on the ground. Uh, what was this game like? Three overtimes, all of it. I mean, it was a battle. I mean, we were ready for it. I mean, we talked about, man, we're rising above. Just talking about it all year, man. We're not going to give up. That's our motto. I mean, we don't panic in those situations. So that we just kept our calm and we just kept going. I'm also curious, uh, what are some of your favorite classes? My favorite classes? Yeah, what, yeah, what are some of your favorite classes? Man. Let's get real. All right. Uh, let's keep it man, 100. I like, like study hall. Man, you, you like guys got to get my grades okay, well, up. And uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I like I like some econ. Dave Ramsey. You got to watch that stuff. Hey, sh sh shout out to your econ teacher. What makes it so cool? Mr. Bear. Man, he shows those videos and we learn about Dave Ramsey. To learn how to get rich. So what are some things that you're gonna remember most about this season besides the state championship that you guys just won? Man, all the bonds, all the friends I made, man. More surreal the play call because you guys are kind of a running team, or more surreal to see your boy Ennis come up with the ball at the end? Man, Ennis, man, it was a perfect situation. He deserves it. He's been working hard. He's the leader of the team, and it's just awesome that he got to finish it down. Try it. You have longer now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't get that on camera. Yes, Chili! This is how you do it for the wall. For the wall the right here. Christian state champion helmet sticker for the wall. Game use. Hey, I gotta ask you though, what's more surreal, uh, being able to coach with your dad and win a state championship or watching your brother come up with the championship catch? It was a great year, but probably watching my brother, I mean, that was something I'll definitely never forget. Just so happy for him. All right, so 40 to 37, we've been out here for about 40 minutes. It's been absolutely crazy. It's been bonkers. Um, you know, I've seen so many good games. Red Mountain, Queen Creek, Chandler Highland. And this is like, I don't know, like the vlog is getting a lot of good games uh, lately. Talk to me, what did you see in this game that stood out so much? Uh, J.R. Henderson. <laughs> J.R. Henderson, I think, threw a touchdown. Hey, Northwest, y'all can't catch a break. Even hey. when y'all win a championship. Hey, I asked like four Northwest kids, what was it like to watch that kid but still get the win? And they're like, well, they, I mean, because he had two interceptions. He almost won the game by himself. He had an 84 yard punt return. He threw a touchdown. He caught a touchdown. He had two picks. He was something else. But guess what? The very first lead of the game, first lead of the game for Northwest Christian is when they score in triple overtime. Zach Heidel, man, he, he gets the one yard touchdown run to make it 27-27 to send it to overtime. And then he gets the fumble recovery at the end of the second overtime. Hey. In any sport, you only, in any game, any competition, you only need to have the lead once and that's at the end of the game. That's